Hi guys, it's Danny from Scrap FX Design Team for August 2021. Today I'm doing an art journal page in my Scrap FX junk journal. So I've selected two pages in my junk journal. These are pre-gessoed and I have a collection of paints that I've picked out earlier. This is a nice lilac -y tone. I'm painting sort of more of a belly belt across the, the center of the page. Um, would like to keep a little bit of um, white space so I'm sort of making sure that I don't paint in that sort of top area and in the bottom area of the pages so I'm just sort of basically working along the center of the page I'm also trying to think about how I'm using my brush strokes so I've basically um, just painting sort of splotches down without sort of overly thinking about how I'm painting them sort of trying to create sort of organic shapes with the paint and um, just sort of random splotches basically so and this yellow sort of more along the lines of mark making so creating a background that is a little bit different from my usual style um, just sort of being a little bit more um, thoughtful about the process but also just going intuitively into the background and painting what I sort of comes off the top of my head so this is a bit of fluoro paint um, it's actually quite translucent and wasn't really liking the consistency of it it's quite claggy um, and being that it is neon it's it's translucent so it just wasn't sitting well on the page I tried to get a little bit of drippage down there on the left hand side but it just wasn't working so I'm just drying that off now and I'm using a little bit of um, Diane Riversley's metallic paints in the in that hot pink, the bubblegum pink, and that seemed to work much better. It's a bit more of a solid colour. So I'm just painting back over where I had all the neon paints, and of course that works nicely with the drippage, which is what I was going for. And I'm just going to dry that off now. So going now in with the Posca pen and doing a little bit of mark making sort of round dots here and I'm just going back over them and enlarging them a little bit of splatter this is a scrap effect stencil it's called leafy seaweed and I just sort of felt that it went well with these organic shapes I've already got in the background so I'm just sponging some light blue paint through the stencil with a makeup sponge here and I really think that works well on my background just highlighting those mark makings again just making sure that they stand out in the background making them a little bit larger than what they were to start with and now I'm going back in where I've sponged through the stencil and just trying to um, clarify the lines here but I've used a color that's very similar so it's not really standing out using a fine line Posca pen here and I'm using a dark blue on the light blue areas so on all the patches of light blue I'm just making the same repeated pattern now with a white Posca pen doing the same with the dark blue areas and then once again I've used a similar color in the purple tones which didn't really work very well going around now with a fine line pen and circling all those hot pink marks that i've got on the page and then i find a darker purple posca pen and i re go over those areas again in the lilac -y tones and just make some mark making there and i think that really works the background um, it's a little bit different from what I'm used to, but I really like the white space. It really creates that extra pop of colour, makes everything look a little bit more vibrant. I'm now going in with a white Posca pen and redoodling over the stenciled area. And this really defines that organic shape across the page. Now here I'm using some Scrap FX rice papers. This is Sketches Number no. 2 by Michelle Logan. I've just got a few random little pieces and I'm just going to 
use some matte medium to glue those down and again it's just working as a little bit more mark making and some visual interest in the background I think that works really well So now I'm going in with the Scrap FX stamp set. This one is called Circle Collage. And I'm just using some archival ink in the blue to stamp across the page. And now a little bit of black acrylic paint splatter. And that's my background. I'm pretty happy with that. Now I'm using the Learning to Fly silhouette here. This is in the black. And I decided that I needed a bit of a spotlight so I'm using the circle stencils from Scrap FX and I'm just going to sponge a little yellow circle in here so I'm just using the stencil to get a nice defined circle and then I've used the positive to just outline that yellow circle with a bit of the blue as well just to make it really stand out as a spotlight as such just sort of mutes down that background a little because it's quite busy and really highlights that silhouette so I think that works really well I'm just defining the edges of the circle with a little bit of dry brushing of course I'm going to glue that one down now into position So this is also a scrap FX stencil. This one is called Freedom Girl. And I think she works really well with the stencil. It's sort of got the similar theme to it. So again, I'm just stenciling the silhouette shape in black on the opposite page. And I'm just using a makeup square to do that. So again just using the um, positive cutout and I'm going to put a little bit of that blue edging around just to define the shape of the lady a little bit more um, just so she's got that you know sort of pops off the page a little bit more because the background is quite um, quite chaotic and I can really define those shapes so I'm just going around and making the silhouette stand out by giving it a fine line and then freehanding that fine line around the body as well giving it more of a, a scratchier line I'm just trying to really make that shape stand out from the background become more of a focal point on the page so here I've decided to put in the hairlines and all those fine details um, with the white Posca pen. And again, I'm going to trace the silhouette shape right around with the white Posca, just sort of giving it some scratchy highlights. And then here I decided to use the circle stencil again and I've just painted in the spotlight. She just needed a little bit more defining and I think this really works once I've put the yellow spotlight in. So I'm just dry brushing that circle in. I've traced the circle so it's a similar size to the one across the opposite page. And then I'm going to highlight the circle again with the navy blue like I did on the previous page. And I think that really works makes her pop off the page and you can actually define see the silhouette shape much better 
Now I've got um, a little quote that I found on Pinterest. You have escaped the cage. Your wings are stretched out. Now fly. So I'm just lightly writing that around the spotlight just with a fine white Posca pen and now I'm going over with a broader pen and just sort of um, thickening those words so that it stands out and you can read it. This quote was quite, um, it worked well with, with the images on my page. Just a little bit more highlighting on the silhouette just so that the two two focal points sort of connect together and then defining those spotlights with a little bit of fine black pen And now just going back around with my wording, just doing a little bit of scratchy black pen as well, just defining the wording so that it really does pop off the background. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed my art journal page. This was a, a quick, easy one to accomplish. I hope you give that a go. Scrap FX has some great silhouettes that you can use and along with their stencils so please if you liked the video give it a thumbs up leave me a comment i love to read what you think about the page and until next time thanks for watching